Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about acid and base reactions. In a chemistry laboratory, for an instance that you spilled an acid on the floor, what would you do? I bet some of us would panic or wipe the spilled acid with paper. But did you know that the best thing to do is to put a base on the spilled acid on the floor? As to why, you will learn it in this video as we discuss the acid and base reactions. So let's describe the terms first. An acid dissociates when dissolved in water as hydrogen ions. Here is the chemical equation of the dissociation. The hydrogen ion is an unusual species because it is a hydrogen element with no electron. Hence, the H plus is merely made up of proton. What the hydrogen do is to attract the negative pole of water or H2O and bond with it. Thus, from H plus ion, it will become as hydronium ion. Here is the chemical equation of the dissociation. While a base dissociates when dissolved in water as OH minus ions, so here is the chemical equation of the dissociation. Acid possess some characteristics like the pH is less than 7. The taste is sour and turns the blue litmus paper into red. While bases have pH greater than 7, it has bitter taste and turns red litmus paper into blue. So here, table 1 shows some of the common examples of strong and weak acids. And table 2 shows some of the common Example of strong and weak base The criteria for an acid or base to be considered as strong acid or strong base is the ability to dissociate completely into ions when dissolved in water. When strong acid or strong base dissolves in water, it produces strong electrolytes. And when weak acid or weak base dissolves in water, it produces weak electrolytes. In fact, their dissociation into ions when dissolved in water could create current and can light a bulb. When a strong acid dissolves in water, for example, nitric acid, the chemical equation would be When a strong base dissolves in water, for example, sodium hydroxide, the chemical equation would be We noticed in the chemical equation that the dissociation of a strong acid and strong base would be complete and the reaction always proceed to the right while for the weak acid like acetic acid the chemical equation would be and for weak base like ammonia the chemical equation would be we notice the double head arrow and this means reversible reaction This kind of reaction means that as the acid or base dissolves in water to form their corresponding ions, the ions in the product side also reacts with each other to form the acid or base. Hence, when weak acid or weak base dissolves in water, it will not completely turn into ions and the reaction either proceed to the left or right. Now let us discuss what happens if we mix the acid and base. So here is the chemical equation of the acid and base reaction. From the reaction, we notice that the reaction of acid and base produces salt and liquid water. The salt here is either aqueous or solid depending on its solubility. So the reason why when you spill an acid on the floor and you need to put base is because the acid and base reaction produces water and salt. This kind of reaction is also known as neutralization reaction. Let us try writing equations of the acid and base reaction. When we mix hydrochloric acid and potassium hydroxide, the molecular equation would be We need to specify the state of each compound. We know that potassium chloride is soluble in water, so it is aqueous and water is always liquid. Hence we have Then the total ionic equation would be 
since potassium and chloride ion appear on both sides of the equation, then they are the spectator ions. Then the net ionic equation would be. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.